What's up, everybody? It is the Saturday of uh, Thanksgiving break, and uh, right now I got some chicken cooking up in the oven, and I got some trout. I believe that's trout. Sorry if I don't get it right. Dying out, and I'll cook that up for some food as well, because I'm out of uh, lean meats. I'm not sure how lean the uh, the trout is, but yeah. Is what it is. Um, so we got uh, legs today, and gonna be doing that in a few hours. Right now, I'm just relaxing because finally I have a day that I'm not I'm not ob obligated to do any homework or go anywhere or do anything besides just eat and work out. So I'm happy about that. So for the workout, we're gonna start out. I want to do squats. We'll see how that goes. If we do do squats, then I'm not going to do any uh, uh, cardio acceleration, probably. If I do what I usually do, which is like five sets of 20, each set till failure, just because it's it's really intense. It, even when I'm bulking, it puts me on my ass. You are you're you feel like you're done afterward, but we'll still do... Uh, we'll do one compound exercise for legs. So working quads, hamstrings, and glutes at the same time. And uh, then uh, we'll go isolated movements, so maybe leg extensions for quads and then uh, hamstring curls for uh, hamstrings. And that'll be it for legs, but then we'll do two exercises for calves, just so we can hit everything in a week. If you notice, we didn't hit abs this week just because I don't actually train abs really at all because your core gets worked uh, during compound movements like leg press, uh, squats, deadlifts, power cleans, even bench press. You actually engage your core to keep stable on the bench. But, uh, so I don't really work abs that much at all. Pretty boring to me too, to train abs. But um, maybe we will, maybe we won't, just we'll see how I feel about it. Also, if you notice, my voice sounds a, uh, a little funny, a little different, maybe a little deeper because I'm actually fighting off being sick. Just the combination of uh, getting an average three to four hours of sleep a night when I was studying all this week and doing homework uh, has started to <coughs> started take its toll and I got a little cough. Um, and also just the, uh, the dieting, the very low calories, very low carbs and the, uh, the workouts, all of that mixed in with the sleep is just, yeah, it's uh, it's caught up to me, uh, but I will still be going. I'll still be working out. Typically, you uh, when you get sick, uh, what you want to do is up your calories. Actually, eat as much as you can, just because when you get sick, and most people I assume know this, your body loses a lot of weight. Uh, friends of mine have actually lost like twenty something pounds when they were sick. Uh, and it's not fat, it's bad weight. You're actually losing uh, muscle. Your body, just uh, from what I can tell, your body wants to eat the muscle because it's a lot more nutritious than uh, any uh, fat cells that you have. Just because they have a lot more amino acids and they're made of nutrients and uh, better materials to help your body survive than actual fat. And uh, so... Most people, when they get sick, you want to eat more calories. But for me, what I find works is uh, for vitamin C, I'll take like three to four grams total of vitamin C. So like I'll take three to four emergency packets. Just depends on how I feel. Right now, I'm going for four just because I find it hits my body better, better results. Uh, you could try three, see if that works for you. The less you have to take, the better. But I'll take more vitamin C, I'll keep pushing fluids, and I'll eat more fruit too. Because like I said, at this point, your body wants to feed off your muscle even more. Because it's uh, it technically is dying just because it has a disease in it. So I'll actually eat more servings of uh, fruits. So I'll have more of uh, the bananas I have and the more of the, uh, the uh, mandarins. So, <laughs> sorry hair in my face and 
keep, like I said, vitamin C, fruits, and keep pushing fluids. I'm not going to eat any more calories than I am right now just because I know that works for me. But if you do get sick any other time, push up the calories. If you guys want to, you can do that for a few days just to stay healthy. I'm going to keep, uh, keep uh, sticking to the program because uh, that's the goal. Today's workout is legs. And we're starting it off with parallel squats. This is typically what I like to do for my leg days. I like to start off with squats, get the heaviest movement out of the way, then do more isolation exercises. And here we're doing my absolute favorite way to do squats. We're doing five sets of 20 reps. This will absolutely put you on your ass. If it doesn't, you didn't go hard at all. You need to go do it again. Do the five sets over. I'm not going totally parallel because I'm already about three or four sets in and my legs are absolutely on fucking fire. And this set, I actually just get out 15 reps because I have to stop. Typically, I do about a, about two plates each side, but here you see I'm just doing a plate in 25 just because the diet is getting to me and because I'm getting a lot more tired because of this. These squats are no joke, you guys. You need to take maybe two to three minutes rest in between each set and don't even do the cardio acceleration. This is enough work for you that you don't need to do that stuff. The next exercise, once you're finished with squats, you are going to go over to the lying hamstring curl machine and you are going to be doing four sets of 15 reps. Now for this one, do not let your legs straighten out all the way. You're just gonna tug on your tendons and you don't wanna get an injury right now. I squeeze at the top and I almost let my legs fully extend, but not quite. And you see I'm gripping underneath the handlebars because if I grab the grips, it works more on my lower back. Four sets of 15 reps. For cardio acceleration, you're gonna be doing shoulder taps. Just because you're already working your legs, you don't need any more fatigue going into them. You need the strength and the energy for the sets. Shoulder taps for a minute, rest for two breaths, get right back into it. Next exercise is going to be leg extensions to work more of the quads. Now for this movement, do not extend your legs all the way up. If you do, you're just gonna end up with knee problems in the future. This is a huge strain on your patellar tendon. It's the thing that straps your kneecap to your leg. We're doing four sets of 15, almost straighten your leg all the way out, but not quite. Get a good squeeze at the top of the rep and let it down slowly. Now for the calf movement that we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing seated calf raises. These focus more on the soleus calf muscle, which is right underneath what we call the gastrocnemius. It's the two ham hocks that really make the calf look huge on the outside. Here, we're gonna be doing four sets of 20. At the top, get a good squeeze, and if you start to feel the burn early, go quickly through the, through the set, get the reps done either way. Make the muscle burn, make your body work, get your heart rate up. For cardio acceleration, we're doing in and outs for a minute. If you have to, take two breaths and get right back into it. Once you finish that up, that is the end of day six, guys. Good shit. Get her done. So that is that workout. I'm going to take a rest day tomorrow because I'm too jam-packed with stuff that I got to do and with work and driving back home and getting stuff done. So, uh, yeah, day six in the books, getting the last few meals in, and we're going to done. Week one's almost over.